Hey guys, this is IL3D and today I want to show you how I designed these custom Christmas decorations. Okay, here we are in the slicer. This is what you will find once you open the 3MF included in the download. I have prepared one with Orca Slicer and one with Bamboo Studio. For this demonstration though, I will use Orca Slicer because it is my favorite. Alright, let's see how to customize our Christmas decoration with the message or text. First, I load the STL of the inner part. Then, I add the primitive by right-clicking and selecting text. Now, I'm going to edit the text in the box at the top, making sure to use a font with connected letters. I'll use the cookie font for this instance which is a Google font and therefore free to use. I make sure everything is in order and confirm. Now I roughly adjust the scale, uncheck the uniform scale box and set the height to 10 mm. Then I use the split object option in the top menu to separate the letters. You will notice that all the elements are now detached and I will have to make sure they all touch each other in order to print my Christmas bubble successfully. First I make sure that Mary and Christmas intersect, like this. Then I solve the problem of the dot on the eye. I do this by right clicking and selecting add the primitive and then selecting cube. I use the scale and rotation tools to create a connecting element that links the eye to the rest of the letters and I set the height to 5 mm. Once this is done, I select the items, right click and assemble. Now my customized text is a single element, which I then center again on the circular area of the inner part and fine-tune the scale so that the edges overlap. I make sure that the bits used in the locking system to connect the two parts of the Christmas bubble are not obstructed by the text and proceed to assemble everything to create a hole that will generate an uninterrupted toolpath in the G-code. That's it! We have created our very own Christmas decoration. You can also exploit the slicer settings in a more creative way. Let's have a look at the brim bobble for example. Let's move it to a new plate. This is what I did. You can see that under the objects tab I have modified the settings of the individual object and in this case I have selected outer brim for the lettering and inner brim for the blank. For both objects I have set a 5mm wide brim and an object gap of 0mm. In this example, the message and the inner part should not be assembled and the result is the decoration created by hacking the slicer's capabilities. I think it's really cool, with this almost suspended effect and the nerdy pun on 3D printing. Let's now have a look at one last example of customization using a font that does not have connected letters, as in this case in the infill bubble. Here it is, I'll move it over here so you can see better. What I did was write the custom text and then add the usual cube primitive, which I scaled and used to connect all the elements. Finally, I centered and assembled everything. The same concept applies, of course, to a vector file, as in this case my logo. The procedure is entirely identical. So, add, this time it needs to be in SVG format, scale, keeping the Z non-uniform and set to 10 mm, center and assemble. This way you can expand even further the customizability of this simple yet effective Christmas tree ornament. The download package includes five different bases on which to snap the customizable part and the bonus manual press to fit the two halves together. With a little ingenuity and creativity you can generate some really cool decorations to make your Christmas more original and fun than ever. If you want to get the 3D printable files, check the link in the video description. That's all for now folks, see you next time!